the Rhode Island Council for the Humanities is excited to announce major grants to 15 public projects and documentary films. I want to take a moment to thank our congressional delegation for their steadfast support for the National Endowment for the Humanities. This ensures humanities by and for all Rhode Islanders. Programs and projects like the ones announced here strengthen our democracy and enrich our culture. This year's grantees will tell us more about their plans in this video series. They include free humanities workshops to support a 90-day recovery program, a statewide nonfiction writing program for youth, a civic education and leadership collaboration between the Naval War College in Newport and a local high school, and exhibitions, programs, and documentary films addressing topics from the legacies of slavery to how we will remember and grow from a global pandemic. Congratulations to the grantees on these awards. Thank you for all that you do. I'm delighted to join you on the virtual red carpet to celebrate the Rhode Island Council for the Humanities 2022 major award winners. Our state's vibrant cultural community continues to demonstrate how the humanities can be mobilized to help communities understand and interpret our dynamic and changing times. This year's grantees are helping to lay the foundation for a healthier and more hopeful future. You are supporting people recovering from addiction and developing a new generation of writers and leaders. You are creating programs, exhibits, and films to deepen our understanding of how the legacy of slavery affects us today. And you are helping understand the lasting effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on our society. Together, you show that our federal investment in the National Endowment for the Humanities pays real dividends. Thank you to the Round Council for the Humanities and all the grantees for what you do to educate, support, and enrich the life of Rhode Islanders. Thank you. Hi, this is Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, uh, here to thank and congratulate the Rhode Island Council on the Humanities, Elizabeth Francis and the staff, and all of this year's grantees who've done so much to help honor and celebrate our communities and our history. Humanities matter, and we sure learned that going through the COVID when we had to be separated from one another, how much we need to reach out and be part of a common society. So the delegation uh, in Rhode Island is gonna work hard to continue to send money to the Rhode Island Council on the Humanities for your great work, and we wish you well and congratulations. Hello everyone, I'm Congressman Jim Langevin, and it's my pleasure to congratulate this year's Rhode Island Council for the Humanities major grant recipients. These 15 public projects in documentary films all contribute something unique and meaningful to our state and the people who live here. From engaging high schoolers in nonfiction writing to offering folks in recovery creative outlets to enrich their time at Amos House, from shining a light on Rhode Island's dark history in the slave trade to working with our public libraries to teach our communities about gardening, these projects inspire everything from civic engagement to creative expression to public service. I'm grateful for all the work that this year's grant recipients are doing in our communities, and I'm so grateful to the Rhode Island Council for the Humanities for supporting them. Congratulations to everyone on these extraordinary accomplishments. Hi, I'm Congressman David Cicilline. I'm delighted to have the opportunity today to congratulate the 2022 Rhode Island Council for the Humanities major grant award winners. Through your diverse projects, each of you are helping to enrich the cultural fabric of our state, broaden artistic horizons of our students, and strengthen our understanding of our history and democracy. Thank you for using your creative talents for the betterment of our communities. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Elizabeth Francis, the Executive Director of the Rhode Island Council for the Humanities, and all the Council's board and staff who work tirelessly each and every day to support civic education and community engagement throughout the Ocean State. The past two years of the pandemic have left many of us feeling isolated and disconnected from one another. But through the humanities, we can once again find connection and common purpose. Investments in the humanities, such as through the National Endowment for the Humanities, 
strengthen our democracy, enrich our culture, and foster common understanding. As we continue to recover from the pandemic, the work of the Rhode Island Council for the Humanities and all of its award winners will be more important than ever before. Congratulations again to all of this year's award winners. Thank you for the essential work that you do and for the important cultural contributions you are making to our state and our country.